Praise the Lord. Good morning, bread of heaven. Come on. Good morning, bread of heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We, we thank the Lord this morning for all of you that are here on this special Sunday. Amen. Amen. I mean, you know, every day above ground, every time the Lord has blessed you the way to live, move, you are blessed. Hallelujah. Come on, say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. God bless. God bless. Amen. We thank God for all of you here that's here to this morning on this Sunday morning here, Bread of Heaven, we thank you for uh, being a part of this great family, amen? amen? We just welcome everybody today, thanking, and you know the devil's busy, but he's defeated, amen? amen? Hallelujah. So we thank God that he has allowed us once more, he has given, he's blessed us with grace and mercy once more, amen? amen. Hallelujah. And he's continually blessed, blessing us right now. We thank God for all of you that's here, those that are yet coming. We also pray for our viewers live stream. We pray that you are in the area. If you're in the area, please stop by. Come by and visit the place called Bread. Bread of Heaven Church, 3900 Tatum Street. We welcome you with open arms and pray that you will be, have a blessed experience. Amen. How many are ready for a blessing today? Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. How many are you ready to be blessed today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is ready to bless you right now. And so we are to just thank him and usher in the spirit of the Holy Ghost in you today. And let him have his way in his house. Hallelujah. So we're not going to continue. We're not going to prolong the service. We ask that you relax today and let the Lord take presence in your heart. Let him move over you today. Amen. That something Donna said will change the things that you have in you. You never want to walk out the same way you came in. Amen. Amen. You never want to go out and come in. Whatever you come into the house with, let's leave it at the altar. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So at this time, we're going to move forward. I'm going to turn this over to the hands of the deacon, and we're going to move forward with the service. God bless you, and may God keep you. Hallelujah. Amen. Testament scriptures taken from the book of Luke, chapter 21, verses 1 through 4. Luke, chapter 21, verses 1 through 4. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow cast it in thither two mites. And he said, Of the truth I say unto you, that this poor widow has cast in more than they are. For all these have given, all these have of their abundance cast in unto the offering of God. But she of her penury had cast in all the living that she had. That's from the book of Luke chapter 21. Amen. Let us pray. Most gracious God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we come first of all acknowledging anything that's like sin. God, ask that you clean us up from all unrighteousness, God. You said if we confess our faults, you are faithful and just to forgive us and clean us up from all unrighteousness. Lord, we want to be found faithful in your sight, God. And we know that we regard iniquities in our heart, our prayers will be hindered. And Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come recognizing you this morning that you are the author and finisher of our faith, God. That you are the God of God and the Lord of Lord, God. You are the keeper of the kingdom, God. And we thank you so much, God, for this first day of March 2020, God. And we just give you glory right now. And Father,
Father, in the name of Jesus, as we move forward in your service, God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that the manifestation of your power will rest on us right now, God. From the door to the pulpit, God, we ask that your anointing fall afresh on us right now, God, that you prepare us to receive a word from on heaven, God, and God, that you give us an ear to hear and a mouth to praise you, God, and a heart to obey you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We thank you for the pastor, God, of bread of heaven, Pastor Damien Hill and First Lady Hill, God. We thank you for every auxiliary right now, God, and we ask now, God, that you will strengthen the bread of heaven family like never before, and we pray, God, that you will do it right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Let every heart say amen. Come on, give the Lord some praise for you right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. How many feel good on this morning? Hallelujah. That was loud. <laughs> well, we're glad to be here. Let's take it up to plus one. Maybe plus two on this one. I was glad.
Say it again. 
me and saved me from sure death. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. feel it for yourself. I can't tell it. I can't tell my story. You can't tell my story like I can. I know what he's doing for me. I know what he's done for me. I don't mind calling on the name of Jesus. Because the name of Jesus is the only name. In the only, it's in the mighty name of Jesus. That every knee has to bow. Every sickness has to succumb. Every trial has to back away at the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 See, it's his name. Too many people are suffering because they're afraid to open their mouth. They're calling on Buddha. They're calling on all of these different names. But Jesus. Jesus. There's power in the name. 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 Of Jesus. Come on, say it. Jesus. Come on, say it. Jesus. Jesus.
The Bible said that people are going to fall away. But you know Jesus is the one that kept you. Jesus is the one that's keeping you. We're going to move forward with this service, but I need you to understand the importance of calling on that name. Believing in that name. How many of you know there's power in the name of Jesus? How many of you know the blood of Jesus still lives? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus still lives, y'all. It ain't something that happened just because you thought the book was done. Now, you're in the book. Y'all are hear me. You're in the book. Hallelujah. He thought about little old you back through the generation. He knew you weren't going to get it right. But he's yet keeping you. New grace. New mercy. Favor. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're going to move forward with this service today. I just want y'all to be serious about Jesus. We're starting to talk like the world and not speak the word. If, you're, if, if you have your heart, and today we're going to ask you to, let's flow in this, in this spirit of thanksgiving without giving. Hallelujah. How many of you are glad you need a little more Jesus? Is it just me? Am I the only one? No, I believe we'll have some believers. If you believe it, hey, if you need a little more Jesus, this is what I want to say to hey, you. Why don't you go ahead and pay for the things he's already done? Oh, my God. Y'all ain't here, baby. God has already worked this thing out. But he's, he, you got a shirt. It's a shirt of faith. Pay him. Come on, somebody. Go ahead and pay him to your bank account. He already has it set up for you. All you got to do is pay a little on he loves you enough to let you pay on it. Too many of us don't want to open our mouth. Will you give today? Know that your giving is not in vain. Know that when you give, you're sowing into good ground. How many of you know God has already promised? There's a promise he made with his people. There's a covenant relationship that he made with his people. Huh? And that's a new covenant he establishes Jesus, y'all. Y'all ain't hearing me. So when you sow your seed, you're sowing into a kingdom that can do all things but fail. Don't look at the man. See, we, we, the world is in caught up in what man is saying. You got to see God in the man or woman of God. You got to see Christ in them. And you got to make this thing personal. If you have your seed, but you're preparing your seed, prepare your seed to give. There are great things going forward at Bread of Heaven. How many of you believe that today? Amen. We believe that this is holy ground. Hallelujah. This is a holy ground. Sanctified, consecrated, Amen. set aside. That the presence of the Lord may usher in to our lives. And his power shall manifest before his people. So when you sow your seed, we're going to pray over it. As you prepare your seed, some of you, if you need an envelope, raise your hand. The ushers will come and bring it to you. If you if you want to pay by a debit or credit card, see Ella Sarando over here. She's waiting to swipe your card. And you'll sow into the to this powerful ministry. Hallelujah. It's a Christ ministry, y'all. Amen. Y'all not hearing me. Amen. It's a Christ ministry. Yes. So I want you to just keep your mind on heaven as we get ready to sow our so I seed and we're going to move forward with the service. How many of you feel good today? Amen. Yeah, I don't know about you. I feel good already. See, when you, know, you call on the name of Jesus, when you just praise him and live in him, you, you feel light when you call yeah, on him. Lord, uh, all the problems, all of the hang-ups just pass away. Just say Jesus a few times. Jesus. Say it out of your heart and you'll, you'll feel, you'll feel him arise in you. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, what an atmosphere already. If you have your seat ready, we're asking you standing all over the building. As we pray over the seed that we move forward, praying over for a great service today. This is our communion Sunday. And we take this seriously. Hallelujah. So with your seed in hand, let us pray all over the building.
and those that may be sowing over the over the live stream, I want you to raise your hand right now to heaven with your seed and pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this is a day that you have made. We shall truly rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you, Lord, that you've blessed us to come to your house once more, to be in your presence and be surrounded and connected with your people. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over the seed today that is being sown into your kingdom. That you bless it, that it will bring all of the needed needs that need to be met. Bless them, Father. Bless them that they shall receive their portion. That they shall show, that because of their show of faith, you will bless them to have increase in their bodies, increase in their houses, increase in this great body. Let the body open their mouth and say, increase. increase. Come on, let's petition it today. Increase. Increase, increase over every one of us. Storehouses may be full, that every need shall be met, Lord. Father, we believe that today. We pray that on every man, woman, boy, and girl today, with their seed, that their seed shall bring forth fruit. Hallelujah. It is in your daughter, son Jesus, that we call the soul by faith. Let the body of Christ say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Starting from the rear rows on each side, we ask you to turn the face of the wall, making your way to the front. The ushers coming forward to receive the gift. May God bless it. And may God bless it.
one of Brother Helms' church family will be honored. And our own sister, uh, Minister Sharanda Williams was nominated as a UAMS 2020 Phenomenal Woman. Thank you. 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 Bread of Heaven Men's Ministry is every third Saturday at 7 o'clock a.m. Sunday evening service on the first and third Sunday at 6.30. Choir rehearsal every second Sunday and Wednesday before the fourth Sunday. Praise team rehearsal on the first and third Sunday. Our marriage ministry is led by Lady Patsy Hill. Pray at the church every Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Prayer Wednesday night at 6.30. Bible study follows at 7 o'clock. Prayer Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. Sunday school is at 9.30. Children church is on the second Sunday. Our Sunday morning worship is at 10.45. Uh, the singles ministry is meeting, is coming in April. This will be the second meet. And please invite someone. Thank you. Minister Owsley, and I think you'll be given later for this. And the Women of Grace Ministry will meet every fourth Saturday at 12 o'clock. Thank you. These Thank are you. all our announcements. How many of you remember growing up 
that, amen, in the church when I grew up, and those of you that are old enough to remember, even the fans amen. were sacred. Amen. Is that right? Yeah. You didn't dare tear up a church fan. Oh, no. oh, no. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. They were sacred and dedicated to the service of the Lord. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Amen. So that's what we're going to do here this morning. We're going to dedicate these yeah. items. Amen. Unto the Lord. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. If you have your Bibles, would you turn with us uh, in the Word of God? We're still continuing our our scripture, our our prayer focus, our focus for the year. First Samuel, the thirtieth chapter. Amen. Amen. We're going to be in this verse for another month. Amen. First Samuel, chapter thirty. And we're going to read verse 8. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel chapter 30 and the verse is verse 8. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Verse 8 declares, And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this truth? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them without fail, recover all. Amen. Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. May it not return void, but may it accomplish every purpose. Amen. 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 You may be seated. We give God praise. I want to talk briefly because we want to dedicate and then we're going to commune together. I want to talk briefly about overtake the overtaker. Overtake the overtaker. Amen. But as we continue our encounter with this verse, we, we have addressed the priority as David did. Uh, that when we are faced with adversity and setbacks, before we take action, we pursue the Lord. Amen. Is that right? Amen. And this year, bread of heaven, we are pursuing divine direction and desiring clear vision. Amen. Hallelujah. And in our text, we find a man, we find him, uh, a man that finds himself in need of affirmation and confirmation. Okay. Uh, he is surrounded by calamities. He's surrounded by loss. He is surrounded by peril. He, he's surrounded even by treachery. Uh -huh. yeah. The Bible declared that the very men that stood with him, now they are conversing about his demise. All right. All right, Pastor. Do I have any reason? Yes, sir. But the Bible said that he encouraged himself. Is that right? Yes, in the Lord. Amen. Yes, One day, uh, David and his men, they leave his home and leave his family. Amen. Going to back. Amen. So he leaves his family behind and, amen, leaves his home. And here is a man that once was of great stature, once was of great means, but when he comes back home, All right. he finds himself home. Yes, sir. He finds himself estranged from his family. Come on now. His family has been taken. His children and wives have been taken. His home has been destroyed. Yes, sir. And so basically, David is a homeless father. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. He, 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 he has nothing but what he has in his personal possession. Come on. Amen. Yet the Bible said that he talks to God. All right. All right. Is that right? Amen. He looks not to his own men for comfort or guidance, neither does he rely on his own ability or his own experience. And rather, he goes to God. Amen. I don't know about you, but that's a teachable, learnable moment right there. Yes, sir. That when you find yourself in an adverse situation, before you do anything in hate, before you do anything out of anger, All right. All right. go to God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Isn't that good advice? You can tell somebody to go to God. Yes, before, amen. Before you say anything, before you even cuss them out. All right. All right. Go to God. All right. Go to God. Yes, go to God. God will take the cuss yes, off your tongue. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God will take the hot out of you. He'll take the, amen. He'll take the hot out of you. Come on now. Amen. I thought I'd say H-E-L-L. Oh, my God. He'll take the hot out of you. Right, right, right. Come on now. 
Is that right? Uh -huh. Go to God. And I found myself having to go to God. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I tell you that in the day and time in which we live now, I'm finding myself more frequently Come on now. having to talk with the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, because we live in a trying world. Yeah, we, know. Right. we live in a world that will test your patience. Yes, sir. We live in a world, yes, sir. amen, that will have you praise oh. God. Oh. On the verge of saying something that you know is not of God. And so David, in his all of his tragedy and all of his deliverance, the Bible said that he talks to God. Yes, sir. Listen, I want you to understand something here, that David takes the position of one who wants to, one who desires to, is to go after those that have done him wrong. David wants to go after those that have taken his family and taken his possessions, amen, because the Bible tells us, y'all, that he asked the question, shall I pursue and overtake them? That right, I want you to understand, my love, because listen, listen to the tone in David's voice. Listen to the confidence of his words. He said, shall I? In other words, David is saying, I'm ready, I'm willing, I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting on the word. Yes, Shall I? Shall I? Uh, I, I I'm, I'm ready, Lord, but I, I, I understand the protocol of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Before I do anything, I, I, I need to get permission from Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So he, 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 he says, Shall I pursue and overtake? Hallelujah. Can I help somebody today? Because you may. Be in what looks like an overtaken place. All right. All right. Uh, life can have you in a right place that where right. you seem to be have overtaken and succumbed uh. to the ills of this world. Well, yeah. Hallelujah. But you've got to set your mind, beloved, and you've got to have a mindset that, that you are determined to overtake the overtaker. Yeah. Right. Just follow along with me, please. Hallelujah. You got to, you cannot allow the overtaker, amen, the overtakers of you, amen, to overtake your mind. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. You can allow an overtaken situation, an overtaken circumstance to destroy your spirit. Amen. Yeah. You yeah. cannot allow people or circumstances of life to take the fight out of you. Come on, man. No word. No uh -huh. word. Let me help somebody because the Bible declares that the Amen, there were four young men, hallelujah, that were taken into captivity. Come on now. Hallelujah. Come on. One was by the name of Daniel. And the Bible said in Daniel chapter 1, it says that Daniel purpose in his heart. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, you got to have a man of mind. Yeah. I may find myself in an overtaken place, but I will not be overtaken. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Daniel purpose in his heart that I'm better than this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Don't give me what the others eat. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Just bring me some vegetables and some water. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. They were they were determined uh -huh. to overtake the overtaker. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't allow the overtakers to overtake them. Come on. Yeah. How do I know? How you how do you know, preacher? How do you know, Pastor? How do you know, preacher? Because my Bible tells me, hallelujah, that I know that they didn't allow the overtakers to overtake them because they still prayed three times a day. Yeah. Uh, the Bible tells me that they still face the east when they yes, pray. Yes, the Bible tells me that they refused to buy that. All right. Is that right? All right. That lets me know, y'all, that they didn't allow the overtakers to overtake them. Yeah. Is that right? In other words, what they found themselves in, they didn't allow that place to change their position. All right, all right. You can't allow the devil to change your position. I don't care what place you're in. You've got to learn, beloved, to how, hallelujah, to turn the situation around. Uh -huh. You've got to learn how, hallelujah, to take over the environment you find yourself in. My God, my God. Man, you've got to be able to understand that God has given you the power to change the environment. Yes, sir. Is that right? That's right. 
I, I don't care where you work. I don't care, amen, where you uh, do your business. You have, a, as, as a believer, you have the ability and the power to change the atmosphere. Yes, Is that right? Yes, Hallelujah. God has given you the ability and the anointing to overtake your overtakers. Hallelujah. Those that try to mess up your Monday. Come on, somebody. Those that try to create a terrible Tuesday in your life. Those that try to get you, amen, a wild and wicked Wednesday. Come on, somebody. You have the authority. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. You have the authority to change the atmosphere. Can you let those other boys change the atmosphere? Hallelujah. Even though they were in an overtaken place, they refused to be overtaken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, 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 was, I was reading, and amen, my wife and I, we was watching. Amen. Some of the black history documentaries and, you know, we were saying that, you know what, a lot of us, amen, we couldn't have made it back then. All right, all right. Come on, with the attitude and mindset, a lot of, amen, a lot of these folks got today, they want to survive. Is that right? All right. Amen. Hallelujah. But our folk had the ability to overcome. Uh, they had the ability to, even though they found themselves in an overtaken place, they thrived, they survived, they made it through. Is that right? Why? Because they were determined not to allow their present position, come on somebody, to change who they were. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You and I, we cannot bow down to those that would come to overtake us. All right. Amen. I'm not talking about not only not only a physical person, but I'm talking about the amen. I'm talking about even in the spiritual world. Because how many know that depression? All right. Is an overtake. Huh? How many know that low self esteem huh. is an overtake? Yes, sir. That's somebody. Fear is an overtake. Yes, sir. Is that right? Rejection yes, sir. is an overtake. Yes, sir. The amen. Verbal and physical abuse is an overtake. Yes, is that right? Hallelujah. But you've got to be determined, my love. I'm almost done. You've got to be determined not to allow the overtake. To overtake you. Be a reminder of a lesson, hallelujah, that David purpose and made up in his mind that before I retaliate, before I amen, take out my revenge, before amen, I go off on somebody, I need to talk to God. Come on, How do you know that talking to God will calm your spirit? Talking to God will take the anger out of your voice. Talking to God, come on, somebody, when you learn to talk to God. Yes, He'll make everything better. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, he will. Yes, he will. will. Yes, don't talk to other folk. Talk to God. Yes, right. Other yes, right. folk will tell you if I was you. Uh -huh. yes, right. This is what I'll say. All if right. I were you, I mean, right. you ought to do this. You ought to do this. Come on. If I were you, I would slap them and take yeah. their water. Come on. Right. Amen. Amen. If I were, amen. But you got to talk to God. Yes, right. <laughs> David talked to God, didn't he? Yes, he knew how to fight. Yes, sir. Been a fighter all his life. Yes, Hallelujah. He knew how to war. Yes, sir. That was the issue. All right. If some of y'all know how to fight. All right. That ain't the issue. All right. But you got to know when to fight. Right. Uh, you got to know when to keep your fight in your pocket. Y'all ain't gonna talk to me. Uh -huh. You know what to say. All right. You better not say it in a long time, but you ain't gonna have to All right. Y'all ain't gonna be real. Come on, buddy. You know what to say, but huh? But the Holy Ghost will restrain you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here, David, David, David knew how to war. David was a man of war. Before I get myself in trouble, right, no, 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 no,
and ask him a question. Shall I pursue and overtake? Huh? See, the question was not even overtaking. The question was getting the permission to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here, 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 here. Here, here, David, David, David understood. Y'all, y'all, it is, it is, it is not that we don't know how to overtake. Come on, preacher. But it is when. All right, all right. That's it. See, because everything has a season. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the Bible said over in the book of Ecclesiastes, amen, that there is a season for everything under the sun. There's a season to cry when there's a season to wipe your weeping eyes. There is a season to keep your mouth shut. There is a season to open and say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. David tells us. I, 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 I refuse to allow the overtakers to overtake me. Hallelujah. And here, here we find that not only in Daniel's life that they refused to allow the overtakers to overtake them. But the Bible says, I'm almost done, the Bible says that also over in the book of Acts, uh -huh. here by chapter 16, that Go we ahead. find ahead, uh, the apostle Paul yes, sir. and Silas uh -huh. on, finds themselves in an overtaken place. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yes, sir. But they overtook the atmosphere. Yes, they did. Is that right? The Bible tells us that round about midnight. Huh. Huh? Huh? And y'all do know that midnight starts a new day. Yeah. Yes, Is that right? Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't yes. be afraid of midnight. Thank Don't be you, afraid of midnight. Come thank on, somebody. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. See, God does his best work. Come on, somebody. All right. Amen. In the dark. Come on, somebody. Uh, amen. In hiding, God does some of his best work. And the Bible says they're about midnight. All right. All right. All right. Amen. Something happened to change the atmosphere in an overtaken place. Yes, Is sir. that right? Come yes, on, sir. Yes, sir. The Bible says, amen, that they began to pray. All right. And they began to have prayer meetings right. at midnight. Is that right? Amen. 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 I believe, praise God, amen, if I could use my sanctified mind, I'm almost done. I promise. Almost done. If I can use my sanctified mind, and my God, I see Paul and, and, and Silas there in shackles. And, and, and they're about midnight. Something, amen, the Holy Ghost came in the room. And they're about midnight. Something happened. And, and I can see Paul in my mind. And Paul said, it's midnight, Silas. Don't you know that that means a new day? Hallelujah. And I can see Paul in my mind. Paul began to sing the song, This is the Day. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I can hear Paul say, This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. See, Paul realized that even though I'm in an overtaken place, I refuse to be overtaken. An overtaken place shouldn't change your prayer. Me. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And then Brother Silas said, I got one too. 
said, Lord, shall I pursue and overtake and recover? And God gave him the permission. Could you stand to your feet? I'm done. I got the free. I want you to know that you have the ability to overtake overtakers. Don't you let people or circumstances get you to the point that would have you all up in knots, all stressed out. Yes, sir. You speak over that situation. You take authority back over there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God knows where your enemies live. You. you ain't got to run after nobody. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm out. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you. I thank you for Jesus. Thank you. I thank you, Lord, yes, sir. that you give us the grace yes, and the power yes, sir. to overcome. Every overtaken place. My God. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, some of y'all have given people power that they don't deserve. All right, all right. Mighty quiet. Y'all don't want to say nothing. I used to be that way. Yes, sir. I used to be that way. But when I hear so and so was coming, oh, my, I ain't going. Right now. <laughs> wait a minute. And the Holy Ghost yanked me one day. He said, wait a minute. You're giving them too much power. Yes. Well, so and so gonna be there, yeah, they come up when I ain't going. That's too much power. Yes, sir. Because people will keep you in prison.
I didn't understand, but I, I know better now, and I want to be rebaptized and rededicated. I want you to come. We'll make arrangements to baptize you in the fullness of your understanding. Yes. If that's you, I want you to come. That whatever your need is, I want you to come. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Why don't you come right now?
Hallelujah. And at this time, uh, Lady Hill is coming and she's going to read the description of the communion ornaments of what they represent. Amen. Amen. And then after that, Pastor Williams is coming to recite a dedication Amen. of the table, the vestments, and the ornaments. And at that time, I will be anointing these vessels before the Lord and place them in the the service of the Lord. Amen. 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 The communion table ornaments and vessels. In the modern day church, we have many denominations and reformations who all have various expressions of the table ornaments, the cross, a symbol of Christ in Calvary, a place of sacrifice, the candlesticks, as like to always show the way, an emblem of watchfulness. In ancient times, they had lamps. The Bible says in Exodus 27, the Lord commanded the Israelites to bring clear oil of pressed olives for the light so that the lamps may be kept burning. In the tent of meetings, outside the curtain, they shield the ark of the covenant law. Aaron and his sons are to keep the lamps burning before the Lord from evening till morning to never let the oil run out. Help. The brazen lamp. This basin would symbolize that God purifies us from the stain of sin. Mm. The water is a symbol of the cleansing work of the Holy Spirit. It was used by the priests before they entered in. They would wash their hands and feet before they accessed by the holy place. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. The dedication for the communion table and vessels and separate ornaments. Uh, Mother Hill, would you come up and say, Mr. Alton, Lady Hill? I'm calling these three ladies up because they have been designated as the keepers of these vessels. In other words, they prepare the table, they wash these vessels, and they store them away. And so they have been set aside for their purpose. And so we can to anoint them as keepers of the vessel along with the vessels. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The dedication for the communion table and vessels and sacred ornaments. At the altars of the Old Testament prophets, unblemished lambs and other animals were sacrificed in atonement for the sins of the people. On the altar of the cross, the only begotten Son, Jesus, the sinless Lamb of God, was sacrificed as a once and for all final sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Jesus turned the table of the upper room into a new type of altar, one on which a holy meal was served. This is my body, he said. This is my blood. For the forgiveness of your sins, do this in remembrance of me. For 2,000 years now, in many times and many places, believers have gathered around the tables and altars to continue the celebration of Holy Communion. We now decree these words of dedication. Now, Lord God, Bless this altar now, so that the Holy Supper may continue to be served here at this time and in this place. Bless this altar. Bless the hands that we that will prepare the holy table and care for it, its instruments of service. Bless the hands that will pray, praise, and serve the holy meal. Bless those who gather here in Christ's name and who will receive Christ's body and his blood given for the forgiveness of their sins. Bless every, bless every sacred ornament of this table, the cross, a symbol of Calvary, the candlesticks that shines light to lead the path of the cross of Christ. The labor is which the priests wash their hands and feet. Bless the vessels that carry fruit, the, carries fruit of the vine that represent Christ's blood. Bless the covering of the bread symbolic of his body. May we whom communion at the at this table find a foretaste of an eternal feast to come 
that we will someday celebrate with Christ and all believers in heavenly, in heavenly eternity. This we pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with God, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. For those who do not recognize and understand the symbols upon the cross, the IHS, that is the symbol of those are the three letters in Greek that represents the name of Christ. Those are the Greek letters. And in the Greek tongue, the I stands for his name Jesus because really in there is no J. There is no J. So his name is Jesus. Jesus. The H is homonym for man. The S is for Salvatore, the Savior. So the H, the IHS stands for Jesus, the Savior of men. That's what, when you see that, I-H-S, that's what they represent, uh, uh, symbolic of the name of Christ. Amen. At this time, praise God, Elder Williams, Elder Williams is coming, and she's going to read the preparing of the table. You want to prepare the table before you. Normally, this is done in secret, and so she's going to share that at this time. Amen. And uh, we do. Would the keepers come and remove the ornaments so we can prepare to dress the table? Just set them aside. Just set them aside. Yes. Yes, remove the cross. Deacons, would you come and slide this table out? Thank you. Now we prepare the table for the Holy Communion, or in Orthodoxy or Roman Catholicism, the Holy Eucharist. This is, this is prepared traditional behind closed doors, in a room, in the church, or attached, called the sacristy or vestry, for the vestments, church, furnish, church furnishings and the like, sacred vessels, and other treasures are kept and where the clergy meet and best for various ecclesiastical functions. Now we have the vessels containing the fruit of the vine, his blood. Next, we have the unleavened bread of a, a symbol of Christ's body. When they went to dress the body of Christ, they washed his body and prepared it with fruit. Then they wrapped his body in a fresh linen and placed a napkin over his face. As we cover this table, a symbol of Christ's death bed, we cover it with what is called the shroud or palm. This was incorporated later in the early church. The purpose of the palm is to keep dust and insects from falling into the holy elements. this time, uh, Emma Holloway is going to come and he's going to lead us in the reciting of the Nicene Creed. Amen. This creed was birthed and given through the canons of the law of the early ancient church in 25 AD. There was heresies going throughout the church concerning the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. So to combat the heresies, Bishop Alexander and the Nicene Council developed this creed to state our doctrine and our belief. Everything we believe and hold dearly is in this creed. Going forward, before we commune, we're going to recite this creed together to give strength and validation of what we do and why we do what we do. And so at this time, we do all stand. Amen. I know many are not able to 
to see, so I'll break it down where we can get it right. We believe in one God. We believe in one God. The Father, the Father, the Almighty. The Father, the Almighty. Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. Maker of heaven and earth, of all, all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord. We believe in one Lord. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The only Son of God. The only Son of God. Eternally begotten of the Father. Eternally begotten of the Father. God from God. God from God. Light from light. Light from light. True God from true God. True God from true God. Begotten, not made. Begotten, not made. One in being with the Father. One in being with the Father. Through Him all things were made. Through Him all things were made. For our salvation He came down from heaven. For our salvation He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again. On the third day, he rose again. In fulfillment of the scriptures. In fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of the Father. And is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit. We believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord. The Lord. The giver of life. The giver of life. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son. He is honored and glorified. He is honored and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy universal. We believe in one holy universal. And apostolic. And apostolic. Church. church. We acknowledge one baptism for the we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. We look for the resurrection of the dead. We look for the resurrection of the dead. And the life of the world to come. And the life of the world to come. Amen. Praise God. Would you bow your heads? Father, we thank you for that which we have decreed today. As we prepare this table, Father, we thank you that you have surrendered your son. And your son surrendered his life that we may live. And so, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father. As we do this as a memorial, God, until he come again. And we thank you, Father. And we give you praise and give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I'm going to ask our deacons to come. They're going to serve us today. Deacons, would you come? Amen. For your service today. Hallelujah.
is my blood. Drink you all of it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that we've been obedient to your command. Yes, Lord. And often as we do this, we do this as a memorial of the death, burial, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, for this privilege and this honor that we have to stand before you today. And I pray that God that you would honor the faithfulness of your people. And I pray that as we have partaken today, oh God, that sins have been washed away. Iniquities have been and sickness have been defeated through yes. the bread of life. Yes. And we thank you for that, Father. And we give you praise and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Everybody stand, please. today, let us uh, continue to cover one another. Please continue to cover Pastor Sullivan as God has continued to restore him in his body. And so we want to keep him covered today. And any other of the family members that may be going through some difficult days, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you. We love you. We give you the praise and give you all the glory for what you've done and for what you're about to do. Lord, you're so awesome and you're so great. I thank you, God, that you've given us the ability to overtake the overtakers. And I thank you for that. And I give you the praise. I give you the glory. And Father, bless us as we leave this place, but never, but never leave your presence. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Shake somebody's hand. Give them a good.